Hmm. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. I will. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. Hello, Commander. Hello. Dr. Tassoni found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Did she? Thanks for coming by. But nothing... Oh? This minor surgery will raise, erase all scarring from your cybernetic implants. If you forgo any cosmetic upgrades, you'll instead get a small boost to your overall health. Oh, it is here that we get this. No, no, I don't want that. I don't like my scars very much. I want more scars. All of the scars. And horns, hopefully. All right. Time for some more side quests. Which are about Cerberus and their abductions. Shepard, Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate, and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. That looks cool. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You better hurry. There I go, being dropped from five feet up. Roger that. Okay, we got civilians there. Oh, civilians die. Okay. It's one of my shots. Diversion is working, Commander. Civilians are on the move. Can I hit you? Chunks. Yeah, that is the intention. Oh, he didn't die. Okay, two shots. Two shots is what I need. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, that guy has shields and whatnot. Still chunks. Okay. Didn't see you there. Those things are so dangerous. I'm out of ammo. Oh, that's ours. I am... There's a dog tag there. Upper streets are clear. Hold on, Commander. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. We must hurry. There's more civilians there. Don't know that this is gonna work. I'll get that experience. And uh, a Nemo dash dash. If you can read this, stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers! Exclamation mark. Ellie. Period. Oh, 
Okay, you go up in the sky. We're going to die here. Look, reinforcements are here. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. There's nowhere to go. That's because the maps are like closed, close quarters things. There's spare parts in here. I don't know what they are. It's money? I think it is. And this is the dash dash thing. Did you die? Nope. There's a few. I heard a grenade. I think. Make the guy fly. Make that guy fly. You didn't. You didn't make that guy fly. I'm paying for your sins, Liara. Make that guy fly over there. There it is. Yeah, I'm killing you guys, and you, you don't seem to be aware of the difference here in AI. I seen my AI is a lot better than yours. You don't even take cover, you just run in front of me. I mean, you do that, so... Oh, that was a miss. There's two of them up there? Three of them up there. What you get okay you're staying there this doesn't do anything this stupid package carrying bad person okay out of ammo oh oh no not out of ammo out of shields yeah those things are dangerous if we die we die together okay I found some ammo Chunks. More chunks. There's so many of them. You fly. Hold the transport. We're going to make it. No hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. Where's the LZ? Here? Wow. I did not appreciate that at all. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. This voice actor okay, was in a hurry. We're cut out for us, carry on. In a hurry to say his things. He just does not use punctuation. We will carry on. He just says the lines in a like fast, and he didn't do that at the beginning, so it's not a character trait. It's just. So Sarah, about your buddy, the one who joined Cerberus, you heard from him? No, I cut ties, reported him for whatever good that did. No way I want that crap on my record. Hmm. Come on, I wonder where that's going. Dr. Chuck was sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Again? Commander. All right, I'll do that. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. 
Yes. Well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. Because you, you, you have not been programmed to read. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just... Freaking Satan hands. ...everyone you're fighting for. Alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. It Consider does not. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come. Let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. How many bottles? It was just a single bottle. How strong is it? Just reviewing some charts. Sure. Video games have a very troubled relationship with, with drinking. Kenan, have you seen the new poker table up in the lounge? It's going to waste. Well, I was thinking of inviting to it's Sony and Trainer up for a wee game of strip poker. Right. You're not going to invite that reporter, Allers, too? Nah, she'd bring cameras and record the whole thing. And if you lose, you don't want the whole galaxy knowing how little you bring to the table. Damn, girl. My back roll is just fine. I... I don't know what bank roll is, but maybe it's funny. I don't... I just, like, this guy has one note. One single note. Commander? Power grid is in the green. What is a bankroll? Does that make sense? Is that, is that like dicks? It's not like dicks, right? Does Dr. Tassoni ever let you in her room? Because she keeps me out. Well, maybe I can talk to her about it. <laughs> what the fuck was that line? <laughs> she keep, What the fuck? Seriously, why... why Oh I'm no, the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. What is his logic, actually? We have not been shown any of his logic, even in the second game. Is everything okay, Shepard? As twisted and insane as his logic might be. Uh, we haven't seen that. We haven't seen his logic. Hey. Sup? Commander. What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted on the cosmological horizon. However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay, bad question. Wow, talk about mixing things up. So the holographic theory of uh, two-dimensional space... No, wait, two-dimensional space? Is it three-dimensional? It is three-dimensional. She said it wrong, I think. So the way the, the universe can be considered, mathematically speaking, a hologram, first off, involves a different de de definition of hologram, a more basic and fundamental definition of hologram. Uh, it's not what we see here. It's uh, it's like a mathematical construct. It has to do with with mathematics it's weird and complicated and i'm not a scientist or i well i have 
my degrees in archaeology, so I'm not that kind of scientist. Come uh, yeah, but um, the consciousness bit there as the holographic thing that she said that she perceives as her consciousness. Uh, well, she's been programmed by humans, so humans have a perception of consciousness, which is uh, curious and interesting, isn't it? Uh, it's what we call self-awareness, or soul, or a bunch of other things. Um, and uh, it's, of course, I mean, it makes sense that she would have something like that. She doesn't need to have, you know, from, from a technological perspective, but she does. And she's deluded by it as are humans, thinking that it's a thing. It's an illusion. Consciousness is an illusion. Anyway, let's find some ex Cerberus scientists. Some good resolution screen that one is. Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have not been provided many details. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. <clears throat> the hell was that uh, thing? Did I drop already? I might have dropped. Half of them are bald. That's so comical. Not that they're bald, but that they decided to make the scientists bald. Hey, I know that guy. I forget his name, but I know that guy. From Mass Effect 2 is the compa is the, one of the companions. Pretty desolate, even for an outpost. All right, just keep moving. And shooting. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Help! We can't hold them much longer. Can you not? I'm not sure where we're going. We're just defending the scientists. So I don't think we're going anywhere. Oh. My headshots are pretty deadly. Uh, when I hit. So many of them. Freaking hell, I cannot land a single shot. Thank you. Okay, make that guy fly. I'm r I really don't like the shields. Look for survivors. Jacob, are you alright? Come in. Come in, Jacob. This is Bryn. Jacob, are you alright? Come in. Shepard! Jacob! Jacob! How bad? I'll live. Think. This is Bryn. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Did all the scientists die outside? Think so. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, 
I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Ugh. one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Thanks, and you as well. Check. You can't see her, she's this invisible. Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, with dirt will just on the gears. The out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob did not recognize me. This may be an opportunity to surprise him. Jamie. Let's just focus on the mission, Edie. These people, it was his idea. What am I gonna do without him? Finish the work you started. Our work? Are you crazy? We're all gonna die here. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. Yeah, you can trust me because I'm whispering. If I was shouting, you also could trust me, but that's a different matter. Apparently, evacuation is in progress. Got some money. We have a private message here from Morris to Bryn. I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others are doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could have imagined. In our worst nightmares kind of imagined. I am going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up and talk ASAP. Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. Something like that. Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we both crossed the elusive man in our own way. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of I've done things no human should. And there I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. The elusive man didn't care. He said our goal was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign? <laughs> For a man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. How did you end up here? The research I... There I was. The elusive man didn't. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by degrees. Not the degrees! So things didn't end well. How did it go wrong? He was an autistic... He spoke directly... It was rude... It was sensory overload. How did it go wrong? I'm afraid. My attempts to communicate with them, until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. He spoke directly with the Geth Collective. It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. 
tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage information. It drove him insane. Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. You forced your own brother to do this. Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. We finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. I'll try. I'll try. But you shouldn't be... You shouldn't be a scientist again, honestly. Ah, uh, boy. Yeah. 